Well, hi people. Um, it's Gabby. I'm back from Thailand. Uh, I've got a new nose, as you can see. Uh, I've had my six change operation, which all went very successfully. Um, probably a little bit beyond my expectations. Uh, that I was that impressed with it. Um, what can I tell you? Which we can find interesting. You might like um, the nose. You, the voice you'll hear a little bit deep at the present time. It is a lot like higher. Uh, it's just because the nose, the nose system is still blocked up from the um, ex, from the uh, breaking and remodeling of the nose. Um, what else can I say? How did the trip go? Well, going over was pretty cool. A stupid incident happened just before I left Melbourne. Um, got very, very emotional over there. I cried lots, loneliness. Um, was never uncertain that what I was doing was the right thing at any time, but just the loneliness and all the stress of all the past events all come running up to you and hit you in the face basically and said that, that, that didn't break my nose, the doctor did. Um, but you know it was extremely emotional uh, but I, if it wasn't for you know if it wasn't for Kelly Louise I probably would have been a bigger mess. I mean I at least I had someone in some form I could just go and talk to and cuddle and get some comfort but yeah. So my operation happened on the January 26th and as you can see by the new tattoo, it says made in Thailand, January 26, 2013. <laughs> Thailand, made in Thailand. Um, it was very successful and it only lasted a short time and I was only on heavy pain relief for about 48 hours and after that I was on Panadol. Um, what else can we tell you along those lines? Pier Vet Hospital as I call it. Um, a brilliant place, five star. It's a very clean, brilliant staff, friendly, courteous in every single way. Um, you'd, you'd find it very, extremely hard to fault the place, really. Um, yeah, I, I, my first night I stayed in a daggy room, like the previous before the night for the operation. Um, but that was just because it was the only room available. Um, but all the other eight rooms, the uh, apartments, were of really, really good, high standard quality. Um, what else do we go from there? Uh, so I stayed in hospital for approximately about five, uh, maybe five days, six days, yeah, six days. And as soon as he did the unpacking, which um, I will very, in the very, very near future be uploading a video for anyone who's uh, interested in what the event actually means, um, in the medical sense, not in the perverted sense, um, we'll have the opportunity to see that. Uh, so that went really well. Um, I stayed at a place called the Wantana, which is W-A-T-A-N-A -A Mansions, and the staff there were really, really, really great people. Um, they, uh, the day I left, they come out and they greeted me, you know, gave me kisses and cuddles, and told me they loved me and they were going to miss me. I mean, it was really, really a, a lovely place. It's close to Dr. Saran's clinic as well. And talking about Dr. Saran, <laughs> he's had a lovely, gorgeous man, a brilliant person. Um, he's Clinics are immaculate. They're spotless. Uh, his services are uh, brilliant. Not timely. I mean, <laughs> you know, if it gives you time, it's going to be flexible by a couple of hours. But other than that, you can't fault the guy. You really can't. Um, you know, he he really does care. He uh, he um, really does understand what's going on. Uh, he does know what he's doing. Um, you know, I could not give him enough praise as a doctor or a surgeon. I mean, he's impeccable in that way. Um, his assistant Ying, she, yeah, you know, there's probably second to none. She's brilliant. She pushes herself to max. She helps every girl which lands in, a, in Thailand who's going to get surgery by Dr. Strand. She runs around behind them, you know, getting what they need if they can't do it themselves or making sure they're right and comfortable. Um, and his clinic staff are all beautiful, gorgeous young women and they're just impeccable. Um, so, we're going up to that stage now. The day of unpacking was was really, really emotional. It was fun. Um, I don't know why you think, yeah, well, it was actually fun. We turned it out. Kelly was there and uh, she was filming it all for me. So we all had a really, really emotional time because one, she relived, relived her unpacking from 10 months ago and she shared mine. So uh, we were really happy and crying a fair bit that day. Um, I had to go back to the clinic approximately about uh, 10 days later and they removed all the stitches from the operation and had a first person between my legs basically a beautiful gorgeous Thai woman 
could not get much better. Um, so she removed all the stitches. Dr. Sren did his uh, inspection with the uh, duck bill and, um, and a dilator and showed me how to do it. But, you know, I must have been too excited about it because I really must have paid 101% attention. Um, I did damage to myself the first time I did dilating. I ruptured myself and I split myself. But he, could, he repaired that. And then I had other problems as well. And this is not to do with the surgery or the surgeon. So please, you know, don't get me wrong. This is just my body, me, um, and the weather. And that's what caused all these events. Um, so I've lost a couple of times I had stitches had to be re-put back in along my um, outer lip labia. Um, that's because of the uh, biodegradable and the sweat and the heat. So they just basically break. And you know, it doesn't matter how much I laid around or how much I stayed in bed, which I did for my two women in the hotel, they were two weeks, which killed the holiday a little bit, but you know, that shit happens. As Dr. Strand has adopted that word by watching my, reading my Facebook words and probably watching a few of these uh, videos, which uh, <laughs> was a bit of a um, eye opener. So what can I say after that? Uh, I met some beautiful girls from around the world who are going the same road process as what I'm doing. And, um, you know, that was really, really good, interesting. Australian girls, American girls, uh, Singapore girls, right? Um, so my stay was, in general, was ext was brilliant. I mean, it was cheap to live in a sense to buy food. And that. I got to see the uh, Grand uh, the Grand Palace. Um, I got to see the Sleeping Buddha, the Golden Buddha. Um, I got to see all those amazing places and very emotional and spiritual. Um, I got to ride on a tuk tuk. I got to ride on motorbikes. Um, I got to uh, understand some of the culture, some of its customs, its food. Uh, what else? Yes, yeah, it's basically it, really. Um, you know, Kelly was there every, visiting me every day in a hotel. She came and had lunch with Ben. Um, so that was good. So I did have some company. Um, I flew back into Melbourne on the uh, 15th. And I had to hang around at the airport for nearly an hour from cousin to come. They eventually picked me up, so I went back to his place. And then they went out shopping and they decided that they wanted to get me nails painted because I'd taken all the nail polish off because of operations and shit. Uh, so that they painted me up and got my nails done. You know, spoiled me. I love my cousins, Rhonda and Neil. Um, and then uh, yesterday, or yesterday evening, I you know, packed up these bags I had already unpacked and boarded the plane from Melbourne to Adelaide and came home to Adelaide. And I got out of the gate, walking up the gate, the ramp, should I say, into the uh, arrival area. And I'm walking along the next minute. I noticed this guy, but I didn't really pay attention to it, too much to it, for, for some silly reason I didn't, and I don't know why. I mean, this guy, I should really, I should really recognize it. <laughs> but it wasn't, the brain wasn't switched on for his face. So he greeted me as the first one, he gave me a big cuddle and kiss. Um, and then I went down to get my baggage and there was mum, there was Peter, there was Tush and there was Margaret, which are, uh, Peter, Margaret and Tush are beautiful people, I really adore them and I'm really truly, truly grateful they're in my life as friends. Um, came home, didn't get to sleep till probably, I don't know, two o'clock in the morning and I was up pretty early as well, um, because I don't sleep a lot that night these days, probably one hour. Um, had a, woke up this morning, had shower and so I had you know, a good nap today, laid around, didn't really do a lot. Just gave a few presents out to the nieces, and that's about it. Um, so now I've got my healing time, and it's going to be at least a few months before most, and or ninety nine point nine percent of all swelling goes down, even in the face. I mean, it's still swollen here, and here. Um, there's a lot. There's still swelling, and inside the nose itself, and in here, just a little bit still. So still a bit more change to cabin. Um, I have my doctor's appointment here, local one tomorrow. And he's going to go through dilation with me to find light to refine that technique, so I don't do it to myself again. I mean, it's quite scary. Um, <laughs> I split open blood coming out, and I raised myself to the uh, blood pressure was 190. <laughs> but yeah, it was only it's a problem which happens in many girls. Um, it it is a problem, but it's a problem they can fix and repair, and it's not a life threatening thing. But you don't know that yourself because all you're worried about is you've just broken your family. <laughs> Funny terminology to use, isn't it? Um, so, yeah, I got a few things when I was over there for myself um, to uh, 
don't know, just items from my own life. I've got some nice beautiful rings, as you can see. Um, got myself a nice watch. Got myself a, um, a Prada handbag, a pink one, and a um, Chanel purse. <laughs> Retired the black wallet, finally, after all these years. Um, what else? It's not a lot, really. Uh, it's been really interesting after the fact of the operation. I mean, I had moments there where I've laid on my bed in the hotel room and looked down for now. And, did I ever really have a penis? <laughs> and that's a really, really great, really great thought because, you know, if I wasn't meant to do this, and even though it was a bit too late anyway, um, I probably would have been really distraught, but I wasn't. I was quite happy. I had to physically grab my phone and go from my phone to the library <laughs> to make sure that I did. Yeah, I did have a penis. <laughs> So that was really funny. Um, what else can I tell you which will probably give you a laugh or a scream? Uh, there's not a lot really. I mean, the operation was very, very successful and that's, that was the main purpose. I, I achieved the main basic goals of what I really wanted, or my minimum for what I wanted, um, was one, the vagina reconstruction. Um, and to the quality of this is just like brilliant. Um, the nose reconstruction to correct uh, past life faults or problems, um, so that's corrected as well, which has changed the face. Uh, if you look at the old faces to this one, you can really physically see the changes. Uh, so life now starts a new track, it starts a whole new road, um, it has a lot more to do with it, to do with just uh, my own body care um, and well-being. Uh, in the next couple of weeks I'll try and probably, I don't know, maybe get back into training of some kind to uh, tone up a bit more. But the whole, you can just, as you can see in these photos and this film here, you can see the body's just changing quite dramatically now. Because there's no resistance to hormones at all. And it's just um, going to town. <laughs> so, so <laughs> it's really doing its uh, work. I believe that I was already in body shape, um, transformed as much as possible, or transitioned as much as possible in body shape other than the vagina. But according to the doctor, um, I'm under an illusion because he says the next six months on my body is going to go through a massive change from up here um, right throughout, which you know, I was shocked, pleased, um, happy to hear. Um, so what else is there I can mention? Other than that, I'm really, really happy to be home. Um, there's people I'm, I'm really gonna, well, so I'm really gonna say thank you to. Um, and you know, they've, they've helped me get to where I am. Uh, one is my own doctor, and, uh, okay, a brilliant man. He's understood me and believed in me and, and helped me get along on, onto the hormones. Um, Dr. Graham Pepler from the UK, a uh, gender specialist, you can go on the internet. Um, I really thank him for believing in me as well and uh, helping me obtain the right paperwork within the protocol of the world, you know, guard the bullshit side of it, so I meet that standing. Um, I've got to thank Kelly Louise, uh, even though we've had my moments where we've broken up, we've still not talking, but we still love each other as mates, because she was there the times when I really, really needed someone, and it was the times when I needed someone, she was there, so you know, I've got to really thank her. Um, I've got to thank my cousin. And Neil and Ronda over in Melbourne for putting up with me before and after the leaving Thailand. Um, I've got to thank Ying, the doctor's assistant over in Thailand, Dr. Saran. Um, she's such a gorgeous young lady. Um, does anything for you, do anything for you, puts up a bit of crap. Um, and the one town I mentioned, staff from people who I mean, I, it was a beautiful, beautiful trip. And yeah. <laughs> um, it's fulfilled me. I mean, it's done, it's set out the goals of what I wanted. Um, I had exactly what I wanted. Uh, it, um, it even gave me a bit more spiritual light in some respects. It hasn't changed me as a person, but it's given me more spiritual enlightenment, if that's the word. Very more, emo I'm much more emotional now than what I've ever been. I mean, and now I, I, I do cry at the most beautiful things, uh, especially. When I watch my video of my unpacking, it always brings tears to my eye. It was probably one of the most happy days of my life. Um, that I finally completed something which I knew for 43 years and 
which I tried 20 years ago to start and never completed. And for this time to complete it within my timetables and what I set out, my goals to set out was to complete it within two years. Well, I did that in 23 months and three days and four days. Uh, 23 months, three weeks and four days. So I made that even better. <laughs> that was even better uh, to the goal. Uh, before my 50s as well, so, and be healed. So in that sense of life fulfillment, I've completed the honesty to within myself and my word to myself. So I'm really, really, really pleased in that sense. Now I've got to pay for it, of course, because, you know, <laughs> nothing is for free. So now I've got to pay the rebate back loan. And, yeah. So this is an update just telling you that uh, I'm home, I'm alive, I'm happy, um, I'm fulfilled in a way. I've successfully reached my goals in the transition of the SRS. And um, in the next coming days, once I've checked the classifications or whatever, I'll be uploading the unpacking video for anyone who may be interested in seeing it. But anyway, um, thank you very much. Um, have a great day, have a great night, um, have a great life. Because my life is about to blossom even more now, and I'm very, very happy. <laughs> Thank you.